So CP Industries is a full service tooling integrator. We are a custom job shop, whether it be through the seats in your car, whether it be through the glass in the car, there's a good chance that CP in some way has impacted that car from Tesla to GM to Mercedes to BMW. So CP Industries has been doing glass check fixtures for 35 years, and a lot of our engineers have come from the glass makers themselves. So we understand how to actually bend and make the glass. We know how to check and inspect the glass. We know how to assemble the glass. Engineers always like to say glass is a little bit of a black magic, but a windshield is not one solid piece of glass. It's two pieces of glass with what we call a wedge in the middle of it. When you have these multiple layers, you end up with refraction for each surface area. HUD glass is a windshield that has a taper inside of the two panes. So what that taper does is it takes these four images and it brings them all together into one image. So that when you, the end user, gets into your car, turns on that HUD projection and wants to see your GPS pop up, your fuel consumption or your speed, that you're actually going to see the image, not have any issues with it being blurry, curved, uh, double image or anything like that. That's what our inspection feature does. So glass companies obviously need these systems to past the glass in order for it to go onto the Fords, to the Chryslers, to the Teslas. So we supply both check fixtures to the projector supplier and the glass supplier. When we started out, um, it was simple. One, having one camera, measuring one position, and determining these the three measurements, specifications, the ghosting, the distortion, and the rotation. Radiant wasn't involved with the first two uh, iterations of this but it was very rudimentary. It was very simple. We brought in an outside group to write some software programming to do maybe 10 to 13 inspection points um, and give us a report, feedback after that. Then it developed into, all right, now I need three positions, three cameras, and it kept progressing, more specifications, more details. And we struggled through it for about a year. I guess I was the one that kind of discovered Radiant, um, said, hey, we're doing HUDs, can you help us out? So Radiant, um, we saw as a competitor at first, but then all of a sudden we said, you know what, it, it wouldn't hurt. Let's just go talk to them and maybe it'll come back being something and maybe it won't. The first time I ever spoke with Matt from Radiant, I was standing in Cruz's office and I hear them discussing these things, you know, what about this, what about that? And as Matt's talking, I gotta be honest, I was a little jealous because I just spent the past four months developing everything that was coming out of his mouth. Every question we asked, I was just like, Are you I, I, I worked so hard to develop that. You guys already did it. <laughs> After talking to Matt Scholes and his team, um, they pitched us the idea, hey, we can do all this for you, no sweat, no problem. And you guys just have to focus on the mechanical part and the robot. We would go from a 24-week HUD system to a 14-week HUD system. It was not even a question to go with them um, at that point. Radiant was able to provide us with a solution right out of the box. The first image I'll never forget, Andrew, our controls engineer, came running into the office. He's like, man, you should see this image. It's incredible compared to what we're used to seeing. It was just a really good partnership. It was a perfect partnership. The biggest features of the Hudson compared to our previous generations was we now have a six access robot. And on the end of that robot is a camera that's much more powerful than the more generic cameras that we were used to using in the past. Currently we're using Radiant's photometric Y-series uh, imaging camera, and along with that comes a true test. And Radiant actually worked with us to develop custom software uh, that was addition to their basic true test software. So they went in and added all of the things that we needed, uh, like different outputs, different data storage, different reporting, custom to our application, and they handled all of that. So the most important thing to a customer that's looking to buy a HUD inspection fixture is going to be the accuracy of that inspection. With other systems, I'm averaging around three, three to 4% of my overall tolerance. From what I've seen so far with Radiant, we're in the 0.5% of our overall tolerance on repeatability. This particular Hudson that we're working on right now has, I believe, somewhere around 18 inspection points, but each inspection point has somewhere around 40 inspections that that camera is actually doing. For such large inspections, like the amount of data we're gathering in one capture is fantastic. 
that's where the combination of CP Industries and, uh, and the fixture that we built and Radiant with the camera that they offer on the end of a robot gives the most turnkey solution to our customer. Working with them is just super collaborative information. We're all feeding off of each other, trying to come up with the best solution. The support I have received from Radiant is bar none. They're there. They're able to give us what we need, give us information on uh, programming, training. Any question I have, there's someone on the line that can answer it, and they know their stuff. Working with Radiant is like working with CP Industries. You're working with somebody who specializes in imagery of, ins of inspection with a camera. Radiant has proven their worth time and time again in the short period of time that we've worked with them. We are really proud of what it's become, and I'm looking forward to seeing what our relationship brings in the future.